Alright. And then you're going to want to test it. So, go to where you saved your server. Alright. And if you did it right, you should pop up in like a few seconds with that cool little, you know, how thing. <laughs> I always loved that when I got sleeves, like back in the day. But you can, you'll be able to do a lot. Like you can see all their files. You can search the files for pictures. You know, if you affect a girl, she might have some pictures on her computer or something like that. If you're into something like that. You can see their process. You can see, as you can see, this is in their. Com this is on the computer as I Explorer. That exe. It see so it looks like a regular process, don't it? Because it's I Explorer. So, like, ah, uh, it's system. Unless, unless they're like a hacker, then it's probably really easy for them to tell. But anyway, you can capture their microphone. You can capture their desktop. Look at what they're doing on their desktop. Look, um, you can even like uninstall some shit, like their programs. If you go to program list and like, you can uninstall like their antivirus. If you if you were able to infect them while they still had it, you can download files, run invisible, like a different server, like me myself of. A Darth Dedoser version 2.1. I use that quite often. You can, I can make them. I can still install that bot. Have them as like two slaves at once. I can do. I can either disconnect them, reset them, rename them, uninstall them, update the server, update settings, see their passwords. Or this is really cool. This is seriously cool. You can go to extra options, and you can give them like an air. Like if you really, if you want to get their Facebook password or something like that, you just do some like just do something like this, like Facebook air, and say some like there has been an air on f Facebook or something like that on Facebook please log off immediately shit hope I, hope I spelled that right <laughs> anyway please log off immediately you may log back in it's something like you may log back in in do a little semicolon, make it look professional. 60 seconds. And then, you go, don't give them the option to say no. I mean, fuck, you can't do, you can't do that. So, whatever. So, you wanna, oh, shit, okay, do that. Anyway, you don't wanna do that. So have okay. Then you're gonna want to test it, make sure. Ah, oh, been an error on Facebook. I got log off immediately. I'm such a dumbass. Then you can send it to them. See, it comes up as a Facebook error. It's pretty cool. Or you can even like open their CD drive, close it. You can lock. If if you're testing this on yourself, please do not lock your mouse and keyboard. Please do not do that. Because once you lock your own mouse, you can't reverse it. And you can't go to Task Manager to stop everything. You can't do that. Alright, so once you, once you click lock, you're fucked. Unless you, like, manually restart your computer by pushing a little power button. So don't push that. You can hide their start. Like, this is really cool if you're, like, fucking with somebody. You can, like, you can, like, 
hide all their desktop icons or you can lock them so when they try and click on that shit happens just a little dun 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 like a can't happen for it sound you can have the taskbar you can have system tray icons you can you can pretty much do it all you can reset the computer you can shut down the computer you can shut you can um shut down windows you can make them hibernate make them log off shut off the monitor it, it's it's really up to you it doesn't really matter to me but um uh, once you done once you know your server works make sure to uninstall yourself by going down to server options and uninstall all right that's very important you don't want to infect yourself i mean there's no point in infecting yourself besides knowing that your server works and just to make sure you're going to want to go to run start run misconfig m s c o n i -F IG and then when this pops up you're gonna wanna go to startup and you whatever you named your um which one call it your server as that's what you're gonna wanna um disable. Alright so I just I'll just disable that apply Alright, I'm gonna close. You can restart your computer, it doesn't really matter. But it doesn't delete the bot, but it shows like it doesn't let it start up. So it's still on your computer, but if you really want to delete it, you gotta um well here's one way you can this is a quick way, it's re it's real quick. Control delete. You're gonna go to view, select columns. And make sure PID process identifier is checked. All right. Then you're gonna wanna. I think that's my. I think my server. It's probably around. It's probably around your summer. It doesn't really matter. I don't know if it was persistent. I forgot what I checked it as. But go to um. What you gonna call it? Go to start run command to make sure you run as administrator then you're going to type in netstat dash no and it's going to bring up all the all um all connections on a computer everything that's connected to the internet on your computer then you want to go to open task manager and you're going to connect them to these and if there's a system and there's a process that's going on that you do absolutely do not know or recognize <laughs> if you're an advanced user you know it's not something that's gonna like fuck up your computer if you close it or something that's not needed on a computer you can go ahead and close it out like 3296 3296 that's Firefox I know that's legit I know not to delete that 1668 sometimes they're not even like gonna show up 1668 jqs.exe do not delete that that's your internet right there do not delete that 176 is vast I know not to delete that and 4092 4092 is winlog.exe well it's usually winlog is um system it's usually under system, not username. But we're gonna go down to one four seventy two, whoever that is, and Darth Dedoser fourteen seventy two. Yeah, then Winlog is probably my bot right there. That's probably my bot. I'll just leave it there. I don't really care. I already disabled it from startup. So, all right, guys. Well. That's everything for you. Um, make sure, make sure, make sure when you download Cerberus that your antivirus is off, is off, all right, and your Windows firewall is off. What you can do is download everything to like a USB drive or external hard drive, and then when you're done, when you're done your little hacking session 
you can just save it all to USB, take it out, and then scan your computer and delete all viruses you may have gotten. And then just repeat, but make sure your antivirus is off and you start up again. That's what I do. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you need any help, if your server doesn't come up, if you need help port forwarding, hit me up on the comment section or my inbox, and I'll be glad to help you out over TeamViewer if you want. I can set everything up for you. It'll be easy. Alright? Later, guys.